Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS. Get ready to learn something new today. I'm Andrea, and I'm Gabe, and we have a new lesson for you today. It's called Cards for Any Day. You're going to learn how to talk about different cards. Let's get started with some key words. The first one is card. Card. Happy birthday! Here is a birthday card for you. Out. Out. Al's store is out of milk. Let's go to another store. Kind. Kind. Bobby likes all kinds of dogs. Special. Special. Today is a very special day. It's your birthday. Holiday. Holiday. Christmas is my favorite holiday. Well, let's say these keywords together again. The first one is card. Card. Out. Out. Kind. Kind. Special. Special. Holiday. Holiday. And now it's time for us to find out what today's mission will be with our friend Eddie. Hey, uh, Eddie. Yeah. Oh, oh, I I got a really nice card today. Oh, that is very special, Eddie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It says, Eddie, you are the best. Oh, that is sweet, Eddie. Eddie, do you do you agree? Are you、oh, the best? I, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a nice guy. Yeah. Hey, Eddie,、uh, do you have a mission for us today? I do. I have a mission, and here it is. What is Hugh selling? What is Hugh selling? Well, let's go find out what he's selling in today's lesson right now. Betty is working in the post office. Simon walks in. Betty says hi. Simon gives some letters to Betty. Then he goes to his mailbox. There is no mail for Simon. Simon closes his mailbox. Then he looks around for some cards. But he doesn't see any cards. Betty walks over to Simon. And I wonder what will happen next. Well, at the beginning of this lesson, Simon walks into the post office, and what does he give Betty? Well, Simon gives Betty some letters. Simon gives Betty some letters, and he finds out that there is no mail for him. I wonder how that makes him feel. There is no mail. You could also say that he did not get any mail today. Well, we have a key word there, friends, and the word is card. Card. A card is something that you use to write a note for someone else, and a card is usually a piece of paper that is harder than other pieces of paper. A card. Yes, a card. Many times, thick paper is folded in half to make a card. There might be words and pictures on the front, and when you open a card up, you can find special words from the person who gave you the card. And there are many different kinds of cards that you could give to someone. If it's your friend's birthday, why don't you give your friend a birthday card? You know, right here I have a Christmas card that someone gave me last year. Well, Gabe, that Christmas card is a nice memory. Another kind of card is a get well soon card. If a friend of yours is sick, you can send them a get well soon card. You want them to be healthy again. It's always nice to do something nice for someone else. So here's some homework for you, friends. 
think about someone who you can give a card to that will make them happy today. Yes, you can buy them a card or you can make them a card. Write a special message inside and then give it to them. Hi, Betty. Where are your cards? Sorry, Simon. I am out of cards right now. Oh, okay. Where else can I get cards? Maybe you has some cards. Do I hear my name? Do my friends need something? Yes, I need some cards. Wonderful! I'm selling some cards today. What kind of cards do you need? Well, Hugh is always selling something, and today he is selling exactly what Simon needs. And that answer is the answer to the mission for today. Today's mission. What is Hugh selling? What is Hugh selling? He is selling some cards today. Hugh asks Simon a question. He says, "What?" Kind of cards do you need? Now we already talked about what cards are. Now let's look at this key word "kind" together. Kind. Kind. A kind of something is a group of things that is the same in many ways. There are different kinds of cards, like birth. Day cards or Christmas cards. Well, and we see that Simon is looking for a kind of card, and we'll find out what kind of card that is. But Hugh has this question: What kind of cards do you need today? So Simon might answer, "Well, I need a birthday card, or I need a Christmas card. That's the kind of card that I need." You can also use this word in other ways, like. What kind of cars do you like? Do you like big cars or small cars, fast cars or slow cars? Those are all different kinds of cars. And there are different kinds of jobs out there. What kind of job are you looking for? There's a question you can ask somebody. What kind of job do you want? Well, I'm glad that Hugh is selling cards because Betty tells Simon that she is out of cards right now. Let's look at that keyword, out. Out. Now, if you are out of something, that means you don't have it anymore. If you go to a store and they are out of milk. That means they have no milk for you to buy. Or if you're driving down the street and you are out of gas, that means you need to put more gas in your car. Do you need a card for a special day, or is it for a special person? I need. I have cards for birthdays, special events, or holidays. This one says. We're having a baby. Do you need this one, Simon? I need a card for my wife. Do you have one that says "I love you"? Yes. I love you. Those are such nice words. Those are words for a special person. And there's a key word that we get to look at here: the word "special." Say it again with me. Special. If something is special, that means it's different, but in a good way. Special. A special day is a day that's not like any other day. A birthday can be a special day, or an anniversary is a special day. And we all have special people in our lives. People that maybe do good things for us or make us feel good and warm inside. Those are special people. And if you are married, you can call your husband or wife your special someone. That's right. Now, who are some special people in your life? Maybe your friends or your teachers. 
Your parents, your mom and dad are also special people. So people can be special and things can be special and holidays can be special as well. Let's look at this word, holiday. Holiday. A holiday is a day that many people celebrate. They celebrate something that happened in the past, a holiday. Now different countries celebrate different holidays. You can celebrate your country's birthday. That is a holiday. And you can ask somebody, hey, what's your favorite holiday? Andrea, what's your favorite holiday? Well, Gabe, my favorite holiday is Christmas. I love Christmas time. Word power. It's time for Word Power! This week we're talking about writing cards. You give cards to people to make them feel special. You can give cards for birthdays, anniversaries, and holidays. Cards often have nice pictures on them. Card Card You can write something on a card. When you write, you use a pen or a pencil. Write. Write. On the outside of the card, there is a message. It might say, Happy Birthday or Congratulations. Message. Message. On the inside of the card, you can write a note. Tell the person some nice things. It will make them smile. Note. Note. After you write a note, don't forget to sign your name. Write your name at the end of your note. Sign. Sign. After you sign the card, you put the card into an envelope. You write your friend's name on the outside of the envelope. 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 When your friend reads the card, he or she will be happy. Remember these words when you write a card, and you'll have word power! Conversation Replay Betty is working in the post office. Simon walks in. Betty says hi. Simon gives some letters to Betty. Then he goes to his mailbox. There is no mail for Simon. Simon closes his mailbox. Then he looks around for some cards. But he doesn't see any cards. Betty walks over to Simon. Hi, Betty. Where are your cards? Sorry, Simon. I am out of cards right now. Oh, okay. Where else can I get cards? Maybe Hugh has some cards. Do I hear my name? Do my friends need something? Yes. I need some cards. Wonderful! I'm selling some cards today. What kind of cards do you need? Do you need a card for a special day? Or is it for a special person? I need... I have cards for birthdays, special events, or holidays. This one says we're having a baby. Do you need this one, Simon? I need a card for my wife. One that says, I love you? Yes. Calendar Phrase So Gabe, hmm? do you have any birthday cards? <laughs> That's a very good question, Andrea. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have many. Wait, no, I don't have any birthday cards. Do you have any birthday cards? Well, I don't have any birthday cards with me right now. 
But we do have today's calendar, calendar phrase. phrase. Our phrase is: Do you have any birthday cards? Do you have any birthday cards? Now, if you're looking for a special card, you can ask someone. Do you have any birthday cards or any Christmas cards? Whatever kind of card you're looking for. That's right. Well, right now we are looking for a new way to use this phrase. So let's go and take a look at today's calendar phrase skit. Do you have any birthday cards? Do you have any birthday cards? Oh no! Today is Dan's birthday. It is. Yes. Do you have any birthday cards? No. John, do you have any birthday cards? No. Marie, do you have any birthday cards? No. What can we do? Let's make him a birthday card. Oh, good idea. Do you have any birthday cards? Do you have any birthday cards? Hello again, everybody. Are you ready? Because I am. I'm ready for the question of the day. Eddie. Eddie. Yeah. You're still reading that card. Yeah. Well, it's a really good card. Oh, that's sweet. But Eddie, who gave you that card? Oh, one of my many fans. <laughs> really? Oh. Yeah. Who wrote that card, Eddie? I can't tell you. They told me not to tell you. Oh, okay, okay.、Um, well, do you have the question for us? Oh, that I can tell you. Okay, the question of the day: Do you buy cards? Why or why not? Do you buy cards? Why or why not? Yes, I buy cards. I like to give people cards on special days or just to say hello. Oh, hello. Hello. And thank you, friends, for joining us here today, right here on Let's Talk in English on PTS, where learning, learning English can, can be fun. fun. Goodbye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.